Hey guys, Moped Mechanics back here again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install a cigarette lighter, which you can see here, into your moped or motorbike or whatever you have. I have just a double gang USB that I use in there. Um, so, first off, I use 0.2 gauge wiring I just use black and red because the wiring on here was black and red um, and then I've also got a set of crimp connectors uh, which I got from Matpins and just some uh, I've got some green and black tape um, so first thing really was the wiring on the actual um, cigarette lighter um, you'll see here that this actually has a separate LED uh, which needs to be powered as well if you want it to be on obviously um, and then the main power here uh, the crimp connector set had everything that would fit on nice and easily and uh, means I've got a good secure contact um, you'll see that there is quite a bit of tape on this wiring but it's mainly because I need to keep it all of the wiring together and I've got to go wire it down in certain places of the ped. Um, so I put a power switch into this also. Um, you don't have to, but I mean it's it's best if you're not going to be taking it off, uh, disconnecting it from your uh, battery each time. Um, that you do put a switch in, otherwise you will find that your battery is dead each time uh, that you go to ride it your bike. Um, one thing that is important is to have a inline fuse um, otherwise these do just take too much power you'll blow the fuse in the side of this and you can even damage wherever you're charging um, you'll see here I've actually got two inline fuses that's because I've got this connected off for a different thing uh, which is my LED light setup which I'll show you in a different video um, but for in the meantime really all you need um, is you can have one main uh, line to your battery and you have a positive and negative obviously um, but to just crimp these on which is the last two to be done for all of this um, run your wiring make sure you've got plenty of wiring all the way up to your switch uh, what you need to do is crimp connect your, your wires on um, these have been doubled up that's because the switch also does the LED set so I was just making sure that it can hold the amperage because this wiring can hold point six, um, sorry, 6 amps um, I think it's 100 volt but we're only using 12 volt but um, I mean because it can hold 6 amps it's perfectly fine but I've just doubled up because of my LED kit uh, for the cigarette lighter um, because I'm only using it for the USBs it has a 2.1 amp socket and a one amp socket so I said maybe the surge might be the highest of four amps when you you know when it first surges um, so I put a five amp fuse in for that um, so if we do have, do have any problems I can quite easily just change the fuse over it's a blade fuse uh, all you need to do is just cut it down with some wire cutters I mean preferably use an actual gauged one um, so then on here you'll see that you have a power, accessory and ground. Now the power is what you need to have your main line from your battery going straight into and that's on the left hand side. And then the accessory one you need to go down into the power for your cigarette lighter. Um, and then the ground is only a ground for this light so that it has power um, and then that can be joined down uh, with the ground which is from your battery and that goes into your cigarette lighter um, the power is the only one that needs to be actually switched um, so I made sure that all of the earths go down into one unit which is down here um, using the connectors and you can just crimp them together um, and I've just taped them up also just to make sure that they don't come apart and also the other problem 
um, is that the, all of these connectors, they don't actually have got plastic guards, so I've had to tape them to make sure that they don't um, ground each other or touch. Um, so once you have the power coming up into this, um, you can have the power just joined for the both, for the LED as well, um, because it will only draw what it needs to. Um, don't need to worry about this wiring here. Um, the only thing that you need to make sure is that you have your wiring that goes from your accessory from the switch goes through into this blade fuse and then up into your socket. If you want to prevent this from ever being damaged, which it wouldn't be unless you pulled a lot through it, I think it can do 20 amps, these switches. Um, so if I just crimp the ends of these on now, um, make sure it goes in there flush, and then you can just crimp it down. And I'll just do the positive. So now you can just pop the positive on and then your negative and when you flip the switch you'll find that the socket's LED lights up and that my USB has, has its own LED that lights it up which is quite nice. Right, so now I've done all the cutting. Unfortunately, cutting the uh, cigarette lighter socket didn't go so well. I didn't have the right size, um, so it actually fell through. So I had to just cut it much larger so that I can sit it for the time being as a template until I do it again. Um, managed to get the switch in, but I need to use thinner plywood, unfortunately. Um, mainly because 18 mils way too much for it to actually get a screw one properly. I managed to get the uh, bungee cords in nicely though, but see I have a crack in the side of my uh, seat so that my uh, cables can come out quite nicely, but you can just drill a hole. Um, obviously I wouldn't expect you to have any damage to it. So I've got a bungee cable cords, which makes a very nice and easy handle. I'm going to spray paint the actual wood black and get it to fit much nicer. I have some other pieces and you can see one over there which is ready to be uh, done. So now with the switching it just switches on. You can see it all lights up especially with the blue um, and then I have uh, my LED wiring underneath. So that's how you install a uh, cigarette lighter with USBs. Thank you for watching.